Gimaresm. Well, 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 you're most welcome back to Gimaresm. We're here for another Gimli battle, and this time we will have this beautiful craft, which is the greatest crab that have uh, crawled the surfaces uh, of from the depth. Indeed, this is uh, the Crabulon resurrected, and uh, I believe it's it is actually an, an amphibious vehicle. I'm pretty certain it is. Um, but we'll of course test it in open sea rather, uh, but in any case uh, it is very cool. Um, it's made by uh, CXOB, it's uh, available on the workship, workshop, not the workship, the workshop. Uh, and this has the interesting name of Krabulon, Krabulon, yes. Not to be confused with any <clears throat> Terraria mods or anything like that. In any case, this is an absolutely stunning craft. It, uh, the predecessor of this, the Krabuolion, the, the destroyer, um, participated in a Beta Ragnarok tournament, that's how I found it. Um, and then I saw on the workshop that the resurrected version has been, upgrade has been uploaded. So this is basically an updated ver version with better armor and better weapons. We can see we have pack eyes. <laughs> this thing is so cool. And it is actually a melee ship. If you can believe that. It has the cost of mere 2,076,000. Pretty decent firepower. And I have no idea how this will fare against uh, the Gimli. I, I don't know if it, if we, if, which will win. In any case, we'll check the interiors of this thing because this is absolutely stunning. It's It looks so amazing. We can walk around here outside. We can walk on the deck. It's it's like a big nice crab. It's, it's just very cool. Needs to be experienced. So, it has melee claws. I haven't seen them in action, but I do believe we should test them out here. Um, I don't really know... I think it uses mostly crams. I don't know what types of crams, but we're gonna check that out. See here we have engineering. Oh, it has so many interiors. This is really cool. We can even walk down here. Oh wow, it is completely accessible. Isn't that kind of amazing? You, oh my god, look at these interiors. We can even reach the steam engines here. That's just too cool. Yeah, well this clearly, this clearly has an amazing interior. Wow, today's objective, conquer the world. <laughs> and here we got some, whoops, doors as well. Man, I'm already lost. We even have a little, a little, what is it? What? I'm, I'm certain I heard. These are locked. Oh my god. The doors lag. Oh my god, we fell down to the mi There is just so much interiors on this thing. This is really, this is really a joy to explore. I'm hearing... I'm hearing some soundtrack from some anime. Now I'm stuck to. This is what happens. Thank you. Anyways. We like even have super cool drones on this thing. So this is like a World War, World War II type plane. It got... Uh, Missiles going on there. Just super cool shape on this thing. I think I seen this in the workshop too. Just the details with the trim on the wings here just makes the entire difference. That's absolutely absolutely stunning. Looks great. And then we even have this thing that has a hard time sitting still here, which is a little bit of an agitated type of crab. Look at that. It looks so cool. It even has detection as eyes like this and I like this a lot. Smart to use the uh, 
the mimics for the uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. safety um, yeah what is it called the safety fuse thing for uh, local weapon controllers looks super cool I love this little micro crab thing jet a 200 oh it's a little it's a little petrol station thing a little gas station yes it is wow the details there is so much to look at it's really cool we can even have a little walkway to access it it has wheels yeah the details on this thing is quite amazing it's really nice and there are just so many rooms on this thing like we can walk around here it even has a nice little aquarium with a tiny crab. It's like a pet crab inside a crab. It's a, a lot of crabs. Any case, um, crew quarters, a little bit down under the water, but I appreciate the details here. And like, I'm not sure we can, oh, we can't go down here. It's too cramped. Well, that's sad. Yeah, it's so cool. Bridge. Let's see. Let's see if we can even like we missed several parts to look at. Oh no. We got stuck in the armor. Well, never mind. We're just gonna sneak look through this little thing using this little uh, cutter here. So you can see here. If we do like this, you can see what it looks like from the top down. We can see it's certainly well-built craft. We have a bar area there. Now it's a little bit uh, seems feeling here. That's a big APS there. Okay. We got loads of different systems. And we got a meat red inside. Just like the turtle lord. Isn't that pretty nice? Well. If we go with the left to right. We can see here we got the main area there. Um, we got the engines and the different compartments going for them there. Air command. Well, that's so cool. Whoops. So left, right. Let's see here. If we just go through it there, we can really see what's going on. And we can even have a front to back cut so we can see how it looks like. So here we have, there is a real pack system in the eyes, lots of front armor. Very nice, is it not? I think it's a really cool build. I, I, I just love this thing. It's just something with unnecessary uh, interiors and immersion that I just uh, vibe with a lot. <laughs> like what? War room. So we got the war room. Oh, and it switches. Oh, it switches different cameras like this. All right, that's pretty cool. And these are, oh, that's so much details. It's, a, it's like a proper war room. Okay. Kitchen. Man, there are so many areas here. So what is this, lifeboats? <laughs> On top there. Well, it's properly labeled. Labeled had to have have to give it that. Captain's quarters. Look at that. That's so, that, it's just so much detail. It even has a little toilet with. Man, I I just I almost become tired of th seeing this details. It's so much, like toilets and everything. Navigator. Here we have less flashy toilet room. Looking very steel-like. Damn. This is a lot of detail. This is a lot of detail. We even have a storage room where pirates play cards. Of course they are. That's so cool. So, uh, we have the kitchen too. We got to dive into that. Looking great. So much unnecessary detail. Like... The Gimli is not even uh, decorated if you compare to this. And look, these are real chairs. We can actually sit in this, even though it doesn't look like chairs. So this is this is one of the super cool. It has a personal little bar, and you can see the, the it's like a crab thing that's also a sushi thing 
holding a drink is the logo mascot thing for this type of obviously a sushi bar with like alcohol and sushi pieces and uh, yeah, it's yes please i have a sushi there right? that's really nice yeah well anyways this is absolutely stunning detail this makes this makes my gimle look like i didn't put details in it like <laughs> It's just so, so immersive. We're now gonna test if it walks on land, because that would be pretty funny. So, um, I don't know, I don't, I, I think I remember it saying something that it can walk on land, but it's not, like not recommended, because it's like super slow. So, yeah, we'll see. Look at this beautiful crab, just sitting here. So, Let's see if it, uh, let's see what happens when we're approaching land. I just love the way it moves its tail like this. It feels so, oh, it's actually using it to steer. That's super cool. <laughs> this is like, this ship is so darn decorated. So um, I realized this is a Gimle battle video. But this ship has so much details and it absolutely deserves a nice showcase. Now, it will be highly... Oh, yes, it actually extends its legs. Look at that. It has wheels on the legs. It extends them. Oh, yes. It kind of got a little bit damaged there, but... I don't care. It works. It actually works. It has joints. It doesn't walk walk, but it walk drives and <laughs> look at that. Can it climb? No, I'm not sure it can get up here. <laughs> Anyways, um, the hill is probably too steep, but it, it's looking splendid. This is a screenshot for you. This is a real screenshot for you all. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. This looks amazing. Anyways, I'm just uh, spawning this ship here a little bit because I wanna see it if it does any type of melee action. It goes towards it. That's super good. I think we're gonna we're gonna repair this thing. Oh, I think <laughs> I think we need to repair it a couple of times. Come on. Oh yeah, it's gonna die. Okay, never mind. A crossbones has a little bit more health. I just wanna see it in melee action because I don't think we're gonna see it in melee action with the Gimle. Look at that. It actually uses its claws. That's cool. Okay. It's trying to pinch it. Look at that. Yes, it's actually pinching away parts. That's super cool. Look at that. Its shields turn to... Y oh, it has RGB shields. That's cool. That's an unnecessary and cool feature. RGB shields. Everything is better in RGB. Well, that's great. <laughs> okay, it comes in here a little bit. It's like metal, right? Does it have like... It has pinchers, but does it have anything to pinch with, I wonder? That I'm not sure about. Now it's just feeling like it's ramming. Who knows? Who knows what we're doing? But I felt we kind of seen it in action. So I'm gonna spawn a bunch of ACBs on this thing to disable uh, smoke and lights and stuff like that to make it lag and the screen to make it lag a little bit less. And uh, we'll be back with a battle. All right, these friends should be keeping the lag low. Let's get into battle. All right, here we are inside the uh, game. We got the battle going for it here. So. 
We're gonna start this battle, it's best of three. Now I expect we'll have some luck. <laughs> Holy crap, that's some rainbow packs. The pack sounds is ear deafening. It's uh, slowly knocking on, knocking off percentage chesse. There, from the Gimla. We got a big decoy going on there. We got the diff rods popping in there. Killing the first round of missiles. It's really doing some sandblasting. The RGB shields are online. Unable to stop the crams it seems. Even though they did indeed miss. Looks like the Gimla is behind in terms of percentages so far. I wonder if the... Krabulon, Krabulon, Krabulon will go and try and perform some melee. This is obviously an unofficial battle because uh, the Krabulon does not uh, reach the requirements for the official battle um, since it's using intentional melee and it's using water pumps, I believe. I didn't check it too much, but. It's an older ship, so it's just so beautiful. I wanted to show it here, so yeah. We're, we're just moving back with some unofficial battles just for the great looks of it. Oh, DTA bills have churned. Looks like the Gimle is now in the lead. Krabulon is down to 93, 94 percentages. I mean, it's really sandblasting here. It's a very even battle. Red cooked meat is exposed. It's using some old checkerboard armor. Very nice. It has natural floatiness. Maybe it doesn't use maybe it doesn't use water pumps. I don't know. We're not lagging yet at least. Oh my god. That looked like a painful explosion. Oh, it's going straight towards the Gimla. Is anything seriously damaged on the Gimle? The lamps are working. The cramps are working. Oh, it's trying to get in close. Not good for it. The cramps are quite powerful. Oh, it's spamming shots there. Look at that. It's trying to shoot at the incoming cram shell, which got deflected. That's a lucky one. All right, what's gonna happen here? Best of three it is. <laughs> Lobster copter and emotional support plane. <laughs> the emotional support is disqualified. <laughs> Lobster copter is still online. Good for it. It's, uh, it's not being the bravest over there, but well, it's doing its part. Our decoys, the decoy is definitely attracting some of the anti-missile missiles. Oh, Yeah, I believe we wasted some uh, diff rods against the, uh, against the VLMs there, the vertical launch missiles. Lobster copter is damaged, I see on the stats there. Carbulion is down. Krabulon, I guess, is down to 86 percentages. It's not getting in close to do melee damage against the Gimli. Gimli is up at 93 still. Where do we aim here? Are these flax? Alright. Alright, okay. Oh. Oh no, it's not stuck. Would it be really sad if one cram turret got stuck there? One of these support Sabo snipers are dead. Do <laughs> How do you fire without without a barrel, I wonder? It can't be very high speed shots there. Look at that. Are we firing diff flag rods? Yes, we are. Well, it's working. Those VLMs are not reaching us yet. It's only been two minutes in game battle.
One thing I do kind of want to know. That's kind of what shells we got here. So this is a hash, isn't it? Probably hash. And this one is a, a tiny flak rod with a armor piercing head. All right. Well, we got a mix there. Seems to be a lot of flax going on here. Both of us are having flax. Look at that. Wasted one. Goes against the decoy. Well. Another cram shell incoming. Bam, that's a painful one. 80 percentages. Gimli is still at. Ooh. We even got some mortars popping in or exposing more meat. We have stone armor in here. That's a good cost saver. All right. That's a decoy cram, wasn't it? That was definitely a decoy cram. Here comes a real one. Bam, did some damage inside. Well, at least the RGB shields are working. Game is at 91 percentages. So it is... It's on the upper... It has the upper hand right now, but man. It has indeed taken damage. Bam. I think the Krabu... Krabulon is looking a little bit sad now. It's starting to sink a little bit, it seems like. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well. Krabulon is down to 74. I do believe it will lose both the lobster copter and the emotional support plane is offline so I do believe that is uh, not the not the most fun day for the resurrected Krabulon it's looking splendid though look at that right here we have a like 45 cal that's probably flak, isn't it? Most likely. <laughs> it's doing a lot of surface damage, it feels like. Definitely. Oh, look at that! One of our cramps is actually... Has it a barrel or firing piece shot off there? No? Yeah, I don't think that's very effective anymore. Not sure it even fires. Wow. Oh, it does fire somehow. <laughs> well, that's good for us. Uh, the barrel length doesn't decide the uh, shell speed for crams because crams is a different beast. For APS, it really matters how long barrel you have. You need to have enough length in the barrel. It's in my tutorials if you want to know that, but. Uh, yeah, if you don't have enough barrels, your sh shots will be real slow. <coughs> yeah, if it's gunpowder, of course. Um, but for the crabs, it doesn't really matter. So there we have it. Crabulon, 66 percentages, but I have to give it. It's, uh, it's a strong fighter. It still continues fighting, even though it's like soon to despawn even though it's almost dead it uh, it fights to the last last breath it's it's power is online it's going forwards it is trying some melee maneuvers it has a few guns still online even at 64 percentages really feels like a resurrected thing indeed does does uh, does indeed make me happy because uh, it reminds me too of the Dracona, which is like fighting while despawning. Which is, uh, you have to appreciate the spirit. But uh, this is best of three, so we will of course need to have another round. That's obvious, this round has only been five minutes in game time. 
So yeah. It might go either way, who knows? The Crabulon might get a really lucky hit that will indeed uh, change the tide of the battle. But the Gimle is still above 90 percentages, which is uh, great for it, but uh, less good for the Crabulon. Cool indeed. Well, we'll have to say that the Crabulon's interior design really is something else. It's one of the most intricate and nice looking interior designs I've ever seen. So I highly recommend you check it out at the workshop too. It's a, it's a really cool thing. Well, seems like we had worse days at the sushi bar here. It's uh, still reasonably fine, isn't it? It looks pretty nice still. Man, the li man, the like 45 cal sounds for the APS is like really World War II harsh one. If you want to know how all the APS sounds sounds like, I made a video video going through all of them. I think it's like 21 or something. If you want to check that out, there is there is that walkthrough of each and every sound and which caliber uh, intervals they appear at because it's only linked to caliber. 56 percentages, it is uh, despawning in like there. So, next battle, see if it goes the same or if the Crabulon will do a resurrection return and win. Next round. So, we're gonna hang around here with the Gimle a little bit. Just to see what's happening with the first volley. Bam! It killed the diff gun. It's a nice blast. We got some packs going on there. It's pouring in flax. The lambs have a hard time keeping up. More packs popping in there. It's really sandblasting. Not sandblasting, it's like flak. It's more annoying than dangerous, it feels like. The packs went from top here. I do predict they are in the... <laughs> oh no! Look at that! <laughs> the entire cockpit is gone! <laughs> oh no! Well, um, I do believe that we'll, we'll have to... We'll have to call up Captain Y, who is... No! Where is... No! Captain Y is missing in action. There is no, there is no second in command here. None of the commissioned officers in the army of Jiminism seems to be present right now in on this ship. It seems that the AI systems need to take over. Well, damn. <laughs> Anyways, I will give a huge thanks to the commissioned officers in the army of Jiminism for supporting the channel over at Patreon. Your help helps a lot and if you want to join there check the links in the description right let's get it's like i love those rgb shields though it's trying to flank in there <clears throat> looks like the lobster copter and emotional support plane are both dq'd already i don't know exactly what happened to them I wonder if it will get in to do some melee combat now. It's actually closing in though. This might be a... This might turn the tides of the battle. It's not really closing in, is it? I think it needs APN guidance there. Ew, it got hit by a couple of mortars too there. Nah, it's missing the mark. It's like it's using its tail to turn, but sometimes it's twitching in another direction just to make it look a little bit more organic, perhaps. It's getting in behind. Smart. The Gimla has a pretty good turn rate, but not like the... Crabulon. Still struggling with that name. It's not easy, man. 
All right. The cram cannons popping in there. One hit, one miss. The sniper cannon is two. It seems to not really catch up with us, does it? One thing. Oh no. Okay, it jumped. Never mind. All right. Seems like it's not getting to deal much damage towards us at all. It just doesn't get close enough. It has the wrong maneuvers for that. And uh, the Gimle is made to be decently fast, so it's also hard. Ships of these sizes can be a little bit difficult to make really fast, because you want to focus most of your materials on firepower, of course, and if you don't do that, you'll, you'll probably just die. So the Krabulon is down to 81 percentages. I think it's unlikely by now that it will win this uh, battle. Things might still happen, of course, but yeah, that's that's my assessment. When there is this large of a difference, it has been very rare that the tables would turn. It has happened in tournaments, you can see on the channel earlier times. So I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying it's unlikely. Which makes it all the more exciting when it happens uh, for battles. Alright. Oh, those crams do some pretty scary damage, man. I do believe the Krabulon is pretty well protected against lasers. Its smoke seems to be pretty darn efficient. You can see we are really struggling with burning away blocks there. So it has, it seems to have very proper smoke. I do, it, does it have lambs? Probably doesn't, right? Oh, that's a bad cram hit there. Gimli is at 94, while the Krabulon is at 74. So it's a 20% difference but you can see it's starting to sink man oh my god look it's lost its forward propulsion this crab is dead in the water ready to be cooked we're actually cooking a crab live here with lasers look at that ready to serve man that's dark in any case oh no did my game crash no it's just lagged a little bit. Holy! Look at that! 70... Did we kill the AI? Oh my god, what? Damn! Okay. That was a magazine of some kind exploding. That's... Bam! Going out with a bang. I'd say I'd call that. That's insane. In any case. There we got it. The Crabulion, Crabulon uh, Resurrected is defeated by the Gimle in this best of three battle. It put up a good fight and it's an absolutely stunning design. It looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, the bars and the interiors and everything of that ship is just so darn cool. We have a golden hall here of course but not the bar like that. That was nice. There we get it. There we have it. So, I hope you enjoyed this little battle. We'll be back. I think we'll be back with some old ship uh, from earlier that I just want to pitch against the Gimle in the unofficial battles just for the fun of it next time too. Um, but we'll see. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe to catch us next time. This is your host, Jim Odesim. We're signing out.